hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to analyze an axis symmetric component in ansys mechanical epdl so one of the good example of axis symmetric compound is a flywheel so this might be a bad design but consider this as a flywheel for the time being it has dimensions and material properties uh, as you can see so let's get started go to preferences structural okay preprocessor element type add an element add a solid of quad 4 node 182 quad 4 node because it has good symmetric properties in ANSYS go to options and change the element behavior to axis symmetric click ok close now provide the material properties go to material models structural linear elastic isotropic so my standard width would be in mm so 200 gpa would be 2 e5 newton per mm square young's modulus and 0.3 the poison ratio i'll give the density as 7850 kg per meter cube let me convert this into mm i mean cgs units that is 7850 into 1000 kg by 10 power 9 mm cube that will be 7850 into 10 power minus 6 gram per mm cube so that will be like 0 0.00785 yeah that's right 0 0.00785 gram per mm cube exit now go to modeling create areas areas uh, rectangle by two corners the origin at 0 0 uh, width so now I'm going to model uh, 1 by 4th of this whole flywheel so this red portion over here will be 1 by 4th of the flywheel uh, to model this I'm going to model a whole rectangle of this red plus yellow portion So first I'll model this red plus yellow portion then I'll subtract this yellow portion so I'll be left with the red part mm, the dimensions so I'll just quickly write some rough dimensions this we this will be at 0 0 and the corner of yellow will be at 10 comma 10 so width is 50 and 50 for the major area and for the second area that is the yellow part the origin at 10 comma 10 and the width and height are 40 40 Now I need to subtract the second area from the first so I'll go to modeling operate delete no sorry operate boolean subtract areas select the first area then select the second area so this is what we are left with and what we needed now I'll apply the symmetric boundary conditions to replicate it about xy plane or oh, before that i need to mesh go to mesh tool smart size mesh and pick this area okay so this has been meshed now go to loads define loads apply structural displacement symmetric boundary conditions on lines pick this line and this line over here click ok now this is symmetric about the xy plane now go to inertia angular velocity so the speed of this flywheel is 3000 rpm then the angular velocity omega would be 2 pi n by 60 so that is 2 into 3.14 times 3000 by 60 that will be 100 pi that is 314 radians per second so angular velocity global uh, 
and uh, flywheel is rotating about y axis so this is the y axis and it is rotating about this axis in this way so 314 radians per second about y now the loading conditions have been given i'll just proceed to solution now before you solve it you might want to see the how the whole flywheel looks like so go to plot controls style symmetry expansion which is at the bottom uh, periodic cyclic symmetry now you might want to reflect it about say xz plane xz plane click ok so this has been reflected ab about xz plane again go to style symmetry expansion this time go to 2d axis symmetry now you can expand the whole uh, component i'll click the 3 by 4th expansion now here i have the 3 by 4th of the whole flywheel without reflection so this is the isometric view oblique view if i want to have the full expansion i'll just click the full expansion now i'll solve this So the solution has been done now proceed to general post processor plot results deform shaped deform plus undeform shaped so this is just the deform shape right here uh, it might not be clear so you might want to disable the expansion so I'll click on no expansion no expansion okay for the front view I'll go to deform plus and deform shape so this is the deform shape the blue one back there now go to control plot nodal solution uh, you can check out the DOF solution uh, displacement vector sum so the maximum displacement is at the outer edge compared to the inner edge and the stress for the x component stress this is the plot so i'll expand this one once again full expansion uh, you might not be able to see just click the isometric view so this is the stress plot about uh, along x axis and the stress plot about along y axis and this is the stress plot about along z axis you might want to see the list results so go to list results nodal solutions and um, you can see whatever the solution you want right here so that's all about this tutorial guys uh, if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you